Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be cooking chicken drumsticks, but I'm going to be cooking them a couple of different ways. I'm going to be cooking uh, half the batch with Evo salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, maybe some rosemary, and the other half is going to probably have some Evo and this new uh, seasoning I picked up. Uh, I'll probably say this wrong. Tony Shashir's Original Krill Seasoning. I'm sure someone will correct me. Uh, that came in a recommendation uh, of another YouTuber, uh, URHC. Check out his channel. It's pretty awesome. A variety of things. And I've been taking suggestions about different sauces and stuff for making chicken and giving you my opinion of them. So uh, let's get started. So I have my chicken drumsticks. These are on the big side. They're going to take longer to cook. But they have been uh, rinsed and patted dry. And as I always say, cut a slot right in here. That's going to help the chicken cook evenly. So you don't have uh, burnt chicken on the outside and raw on the inside. Put a little bit of olive oil on here. Make sure these are well coated. Someone asked if olive oil was really a necessary thing on this. Um, it's just the way I've always done it. Uh, it's going to give it some taste. It's going to help with crisping depending on how you're preparing it. So for me, this is how I like it. I'm going to take three and put them in this plate and leave three in this bowl and I'll show you why. Okay, for what's in the bowl, I'm gonna use some pink Himalayan salt, some peppercorn pepper, and garlic powder, and some uh, rosemary leaves. And this is typically how I always have prepared my chicken in the past, with a couple of exceptions, like with Kentucky Colonel, things like that. I'm gonna mix these up really good. I'm gonna spray it with some uh, olive oil on the bottom. And I'm gonna put the three pieces of drumsticks that are just seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder in here. I'm hoping I don't run into a space issue simply because, uh, you know, it's kind of full. So let's get this bowl out of here. Now I have this uh, seasoning here. And uh, it was recommended by URHC just to put minimum down. You know, you don't need a lot. I kind of going to overdo it a little bit. That's one side. I'm just going to pat it in. Now I only have one air fryer as mentioned, so uh, ideally I would have two identical air fryers, but that's not going to happen here. So as long as there's no, not too much cross contamination. So I'm going to put the seasoning I bought in the back and hope for the best here. So just the smaller end, leg, foot is going to be touching, so hopefully there's not too much contamination. And we're going to get this in the air fryer. I'm going to do this 370, and this is going to require a bit of time, uh, probably in the area of 25, probably upwards of 35, 40 minutes, depending, because there's six large drumsticks. This only allows me to go to 30 minutes, so I will probably check it about the 15, 20 minute mark and see how it goes. I recently put out a video how I broke the air fryer. I dropped the bottom pan, stupid me. Uh, I'll put that link up in the description. Uh, my new pan, uh, is slightly larger and as it heats up these gaps become tighter so when I pull it out halfway through to check to see how it's cooking it gives me a little trouble to put it in and the solution is to kind of give it a scooping motion in I never had that problem before but a lot of other people had that problem with uh, I know the power XL I heard it reported often but I just figured I'd mention that um, the tolerances for some of these may be different than others let's get back to the cooking okay let's take a look and I think those are ready to turn. Those were the three were the salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And these three up here I'm turning are the seasoning I bought. It's a real tight fit, so I may have to turn it again or cook it a little longer. Let's get this back in. 
It is cooked about 19 minutes. I'm adding this to 20. We'll check it in maybe 15 minutes and see how it looks. Since that's got about another 20 minutes, I'm gonna cook some of this rice peel off. I kind of like this stuff. I got this, of course, at PJ's. One and a half cups of water. This needs about a tablespoon of butter. I always like a little extra. Okay, this is starting to boil. Pour in the rice. And the other rice and flavoring. And we'll let this come back up to a boil. Okay, this is back up to a boil. We're going to cover it. I'm gonna flick my simmer switch and turn this down quite a bit. And it's gonna cook about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna turn the temperature up on this to 400 for five minutes and I'm gonna flip it in another five minutes because I want uh, it to have a crispy outside to it. Okay, that's been a few minutes at 400. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm gonna flip this one more time at 400 so that both sides are nice and crispy. Let's get those back in. And we're gonna let this go another three to five minutes. Okay, this rice looks done. Shut that off. off. Turn off the simmer switch now. If I forget and I go to boil a pot of water, it'll never come to a boil. And we'll move this off to the side. Okay, let's take these out. There we go. Now it's interesting, the ones here, which are the ones with the oil, salt, and vinegar, and garlic powder, look crispier than the ones in the back. Now I don't know if it's because it runs hotter in, uh, near the handle side, the front of the unit, or it's just spices the way they cook up or whatnot. I don't know, but uh, now we're gonna taste this thing. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of the oil ones, put it here. Oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder one. And I'm gonna grab one of the Creole seasoning ones here. Let's get going here. Okay. First, these are gonna be hot. This is uh, the salt, pepper, garlic powder, and oil, and rosemary. Hot. Always delicious. try the now I'm gonna try the uh, Creole seasoning one that's pretty good coming to determination that the front part of that air fryer does get hotter because I could see that they're both juicy but the one with the krill seasoning that was in the back is juicier so it's just probably more heat in the back there I got a little bit of kick to it but it's good Anyway, um, you can't go wrong either way here. Uh, everybody's got salt and pepper and, you know, oil, of course, and the garlic powder, and I use the rosemary. Excellent. The Creole seasoning, or again, someone correct me, that's very good too. Has a little bit of spice to it, and, uh, you know, it's something different, and I like different. And I'd like to thank uh, URHC for recommending this uh pop his link up in the description to his channel and i really appreciate the people who've uh made suggestions to me to different sauces and whatnot and recipes and whatnot keep them coming because i want to try them 
as mentioned, I'm not a great cook, but I'm I'm trying here, and uh, I think the experimentation is good, and it helps other people out in the end. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and hit the little bell to subscribe so you know when I uh, publish a new video, and I'll see you on the next one. Both good.